What's good, YouTube? Welcome to Proctor House, Rock Wallace, and today we got another vlog for you guys. We will be headed to the feed store to get dog food, but also I'll be showing you guys how we make our puppy mush, and you guys see firsthand um, how our puppy actually takes on to anything other than milk. Let's get to it. Alrighty, we officially made it to Cow Ranch. You guys know this is my feed store. Try to get a lot of my supplements and stuff from there. Right now, I'm looking for some uh, glucosamine supplements for our dogs. I've tried this uh, twice before and it worked really well back in the day, so we'll see what we can get. And then also, like I said, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how we do our mush here. Something new, started reading on. It's the puppy all in one from zero to 18 months. We're gonna actually throw this in the mush also. See what they got. We already got milk replacer at home from when we first were nursing that puppy. Um, let me see. I think that's all I need for supplements. I need some more shampoo, but I usually get that from Ryan's Pet Supply so we can get it in bulk. Seems like every time I come here, I come down this aisle trying to see if I can find a discounted food, uh, a food storage <clears throat> dispenser box, but never seem to find any luck like, there's no reason why this is 15 bucks right here just to hold some dog food and it's not even that big i can't even put a full dog full bag of dog food in there but yeah let's go ahead and grab this dog food Alrighty, as you guys know we feed loyal life um like i said we do have one expecting mother um, another mother that's lactating right now which is our girl unique um, and then we are going to be making that puppy mush. So what I do with those dogs, uh, any expecting pregnant mothers, pup, dogs that are, you know, nursing, and obviously when you make the push me puppy mush, you'll go ahead and bring in that, uh, the puppy food on top of everything. You guys know for the other dogs, stick with the chicken and brown rice. Nothing special, nothing fancy, but definitely works. I'm going to try to find some, uh, some a few other different ingredients that I want to mix into this puppy mush also. But let me load this, uh, these bags of dog food up and we'll get over there to make a quick stop on the way to the uh, supplement area. Like I was saying, we are going to be getting the puppy on mush now. Still going to be nursing on his mom, but we're trying to implement, you know, some actual food so we can get that transition going. So with that being said, you definitely need to get some type of bedding for those puppies because there's going to be a lot more uh, poop going on inside the house. So I used to use a super small bedding right here. But I did notice that some of my pups will get it sometimes inside their nose or even in their mouths or even sometimes their eyes. So this time around, I'm going to go with the large flakes, see how they like it. And then I'll be able to let you guys know what works best for me. But I do know a lot of breeders, they still do use the um, the rosebud pine bedding, <clears throat> which are going to be the smaller mini flakes, basically. Um, and they work perfectly fine. So I'm going to give the large flakes a try. I wish they had like something in between, like a medium. Well, actually, I might have found it right there. The rosebud. My God, that a, what's the price point on that? Eight ninety nine. Nah, I ain't gonna rock with that. We gonna we gonna go with this right here at six dollars a uh, for ten uh, cubic square inches so, or feet. I mean, alrighty. So right now we are looking for things um, to make this mush a little better. But I did stop. Since you guys do know, I do live in Arizona, and there is always a chance of potential dehydration no matter what. So if you guys do live in, in uh, warm climates, I suggest you guys do invest in some type of electrolyte um, backup plan just in case one of your dogs happens to get a uh, heat stroke while being outside. Uh, I know there is a trick. You can get uh, give coconut water, and that helps too, but I always like to have something, you know, like uh, this bounce back. At home, I got a big bag of this bounce back at home. Just want to let you guys know that since I walk right past it, but something to keep in mind. But what I am going to grab is one of these for this puppy mush. Oh my God. It's a mess. Make. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I just picked everything up, but I'm going to go with down here. The one that's down here is the one I should have grabbed the first time, but. Since I want to be precise with this puppy mush, you always want to get a nice measuring cup. I do have measuring cups at home, but my wife always gets on top of me about using our actual stuff for the house for the dogs. So decided to make her happy and get my own measuring cup for the dogs now. So let's see what else we can find in here. Let's see what else. 
got. Oh yeah, make sure you guys have a good dewormer, especially for those breeders, man. I tell you what, um, it's good to have your own shots and dewormer at home because as a breeder, if not, you're gonna be going to the vet so much. You wanna be on top and be able to help and uh, take care of anything you can at home and avoid going to the vet as much as possible. Um, I will show you guys a dewormer that I do use on my puppies. I ran out of the original, but I'm giving something else a try. Uh, as of now, it has been working. I did deworm all my dogs twice so far with it. Um, haven't had any bad reactions. I did give uh, the pup some dewormer uh, last week when he was two weeks old. Today is actually week the start of week three. He was born three Fridays ago. Today is Friday, so I will be giving him another dose during you know this next week and so on until he comes home, goes home. So make sure he's happy and healthy at all times. I think we're finally getting to the hour. I'll be able to find some of the things that I'm looking for. Let's see, so we got heat lamps for the puppies. Uh, one thing, I've been getting questions about this heat lamp thing. Uh, for me, I'll be honest, I don't re recommend a heat lamp. For me, I'm definitely sticking with uh, my plan as far as going with the incubator. I feel like these heat lamps, there's no way to control the actual heat, so those puppies can uh, overheat. We actually had that happen with our puppy that's here now. I had him in the uh, whelping box nursing with the mom and uh, had him in there for a little bit too long with the mom and then he started panning. So big thing is I would just x -nay the whole idea of a heat lamp out if you can. If not, you need to monitor uh, that puppy room's temperature very closely or put on, you know, have an automatic switch um, at a temperature gauge. If they even make those, I'm not sure. But so if it was me, I would just get the incubator, spend the money, save your puppies. Easiest way to do it. Uh, I might have been wrong. All I see is chicken feed down through here. We'll check one more aisle, and if I can't find anything, we'll cut out of here, hurry up, and get back home. And hey, we'll check one more. I was aisle. hoping this was the aisle that I'd find all the good stuff, and I did see a few things, but nothing that I personally need. I got the uni milk right here, which. I'm probably going to start using that also uh, once I run out of the, the smaller uh, tub that I bought from Walmart. Right here, that's actually really good, so I'm happy that I actually carry it here at my feed store. Um, I got the Nurse All also, which is very good. I've read a lot of good reviews on that. So we're just now leaving Cal Ranch. Uh, I wasn't able to find some of the extra uh, supplements I wanted to try in this mush, but that's completely all right. Um, I'm going to stick to what I used to do with the new implement of the new supplement that I found uh, for the puppies that, you know, from 0 to 18 months old. Uh, give them that extra, you know, healthy boost, glucosamine, stuff like that in there, help digest the system. Everything that, you know, these large breed dogs, you know, need, especially since, you know, they are prone to a lot of health issues like hip dysplasia, you know, bad elbows, stuff like that. Um, this is going to give them, you know, that upper advantage know to help benefit them for the long run so excited i found that but i didn't uh, find the other stuff that i wanted to use but it is all good like i said we're driving back to the house right now as soon as we get home i'll show you guys how we make this mush get um get that pup in there hopefully the puppy takes to this mush you know easily i have pups some pups you know like the mush and some pups take a little bit longer to get on it hopefully he's going to be a simple one as soon as he gets a taste of that mush, he's going to fall in love with it. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the house and we'll get tuned back in. All right, we finally made it back home. As you guys can see, these are going to be the ingredients. The Milk Replacer Plus, got that from Walmart. Then I got this all-in-one uh, puppy vitamin uh, pills. All-in-one, you can give this from 0 to 18 months. Great for digestion systems, um, hips and bones, joints, and then of course, you can have a little life large breed dog food. Let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is get your kibble. We got about eight ounces in here of kibble. Um, usually I would make more than that, but as you guys know, we only have one puppy um, in our eight litter. So yeah, so we're gonna have our kibble. And from there, with the milk replacement, I actually lost the original scoops, but I'm gonna do two foam spools. that 
from here. Let's get this open all in one. Check this out. I'm gonna break this up as small as you can, even though it is gonna dissolve because we're gonna mix this up. So get this closed and put it back. Nope, on top. There we go. This right here. And from there, you want to put uh, water inside of here. Probably about half the amount <clears throat> of that water in there. And from there, you're going to put water in this as well. I usually mix up the milk inside of a uh, Ziploc bag. It's a lot easier to mix it up. Here, we're just gonna stir this up really well as best as possible and the reason why I actually put more water in here because this is the first time um, that our puppy is actually gonna be trying food so I want to make it as, as soft and liquidy as possible as well as still keeping the um, its form as you guys can see I got a bowl that's probably too big for that single puppy, but this is the only size, the smallest size bowl that I do have. So we're just gonna run with it. It's gonna get all nice and messy. And from there, we're gonna warm this up. Now that we got it all warmed up, I put it in there for about a minute. I like to mix it, just pour it directly in here so we can soften this dog food up. Let it do its thing. The reason why I actually kept it inside of here and not put it in the bowls, because the bowl, like I said, is pretty pretty big for the amount of dog food I have right here in this mix. So I'm just let it sit, steam up. And with this right here, you only need to add one tablet in there per day. Um, obviously, you're gonna be feeding more than one session of mush. So with the other sessions throughout the day, you would just eliminate just this one and you just go with the milk replacer and then obviously the kibble now that we got it all nice and mushed up go ahead and pour it in the bowl give it a little bit more mushing this actually might actually work out and then from there you just want to mush it up it's one thing i shouldn't have to say but Make sure you guys uh, <clears throat> let it cool down a little bit before you give it to your puppy. Sweet. And then from there, you just let it cool off, let it rest for a little bit, and then we'll take you into the whelping room so you can watch our pup take its first little uh, bites of some actual real food. Alrighty, here goes that puppy. As you see, we'll see what he does with it, but he put his head in it. <laughs> well, he's licking, he might like it. Let's see. Not sure if he gave it a try yet. <laughs> He's definitely in there though. Let me see, puppy. Oh yeah, he's in it. He's most looking the edge of the bowl, trying to get it. He doesn't understand that he can get in there and and get down and dirty. <laughs> Let me see if I can help him out again. Here you go, pup. Oh yeah, he found it now.
Okay, let's go ahead and move this uh, good stuff over a little bit. I can get in there. Oh yeah, and did I mention this puppy has a monster head on him? <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and set this up and get a different angle. I had to actually put the gimbal down so I can get closer in here, so excuse me if the uh, camera's a little shaky. As you can see, he got the head type, that Proctor Hess head type that you guys are always wanting to get. <clears throat> this is what you should expect when you're getting a puppy from us over here at Proctor House Rottweilers. Man, I forgot how uh, how much I cheat using that gimbal, <laughs> holding this little camera. This little guy's getting it in. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Get down there a little. Pretty impressed with this little guy. He's only three weeks old as of today, and he is already on the kibble. Or I should say, our mush mix. I don't know if you can tell, but you see those paws on that boy are huge. See the thick bone structure? excellent looking puppy this is actually why I uh, purchased our girl unique because she's a top producer she usually has super small litters but you see the quality out of there look at that puppy arm right there <laughs> it's crazy how good this boy looks at just three weeks old I just weighed him uh, yesterday he was 2.8 pounds you see the bone structure in this puppy. Oh, he's all full, huh? <laughs> What's up, buddy? <clears throat> he's starting to uh, actually act like a puppy now. He's starting to lick things, and I went on live on Instagram earlier. Excuse me, move the camera around. I went on live on Instagram earlier, and he was growling for the first time I seen him. Let me get him out of there. Extra. Look at that head on him. Solid boy. <laughs> Be sure it's still, yeah, it's cool. Guy's so cute. His mom's going to enjoy cleaning him up today. <laughs> Man, I'm so, if you guys can't tell, I'm definitely impressed with this puppy. <clears throat> Get it cleaned up a little bit. So I can see that head tight. Nice round head. With the bone structure on this boy. Paws on him. Three weeks old. Look at him. <laughs> He's starting to play now. What's up, buddy? Let's see, let me get you some. There you go. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but today we are actually going to confirm. If our girl princess uh, <clears throat> took from her breeding with iPods, 
We're at day 34, so she is good to go. Those puppies should be more than big. I oh, just kicked that, uh, that that food out. I guess it wasn't mushed up enough for them. But uh, those puppies should be way more than big enough to be able to uh, get seen on the ultrasound. So we're going to get that knocked out today. But that will be in our next video. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share this video. And don't forget to hit that bell and turn all no post notifications on so you guys will get notified when we drop every video. Like I said, I want to start going live on YouTube. So you want to make sure. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Look at that puppy right there. Having a good time. What's up, buddy? Rub that belly. Look at that leg going. Look at that leg going. Oh, you hear him. <laughs> yeah, I love it when the puppies get to this stage when you can actually play with them. Start having a little fun with them. But yeah, like I was saying, make sure you guys uh, hit that bell. Turn all post notifications on. Follow us on Instagram at Proctor House Rottweilers and on TikTok. And we are out.